mainstream neuroscience tells us that everything that we experience, uh, that is our emotions, our thoughts, beliefs, uh, spiritual experiences, sense of self, etc., all of this is identical to or can be reduced to electrical and chemical processes in, the, in our brain. In other words, the mind is what the brain does. We are not biological robots because there are tons of studies showing that we can uh, intentionally and consciously change uh, either the, the functioning of various brain regions involved in all sorts of functions, for instance, attention through meditation, uh, you can use neurofeedback. So we can change the activity of these regions, but we can also even change the structure of these regions because now we know that um, if you practice certain types of meditation, for instance, or if you do neurofeedback, or if you do visualization for a certain period of time, you change the structure of the brain, these brain regions in terms of um, the density of white matter and gray matter. So, so there are many different ways uh, in which mind can influence a brain. The placebo effect is a perfect example because the placebo is based upon beliefs and expectations about a fake treatment, a treatment that is not effective from a medical perspective. So it can be a sugar pill or you know, distilled water. And uh, so we have now many brain imaging studies showing that these placebo treatments can induce uh, significant changes in terms of brain activity. Uh, changes also in terms of production of certain neurotransmitters like dopamine in the case of uh, Parkinsonian patients. Psychotherapy can also uh, significantly change uh, the way the, the brain is uh, functioning. Uh, we did a study, for instance, uh, about 10 years ago with women suffering from uh, spider phobia. And uh, all these women uh, underwent uh, cognitive behavioral therapy for a month. And uh, after a month, while none of these women were even able to touch a picture of a spider in a booklet before the therapy, after therapy, all of them were able to hold in their hands a giant tarantula. And we scanned them with fMRI. And so uh, we were presenting to them uh, film excerpts of spiders in motion and before therapy all of them had a major panic attack in the scanner while watching the spiders in motion but at the end of the therapy which was successful one month later uh, the same kind of films did not generate any significant response in the uh, regions of the brain associated to emotion and panic uh, response so Psychotherapy can dramatically change the way the brain functions.